TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Target Technicians Hour. This is the noon update. Uh, straight off this, we'll be doing the Target Technicians Hour. So let's go straight to it. The Dow's up 42 at 25,582. Rallied this morning all the way from to 25,651. That's almost 1,000 points from the low of Monday morning. That's really very good. I'm anticipating that there will be a narrow close today, maybe even a down close. We'll see. Um, and at this particular point, the S&P... Uh, we've got the Dow up 0.17. The S&P is only up 0.08. It's up 1.92 at 28.22. It also had a very good, um, I had an indication that said that it should be a 9 to 11 point futures rally that will help the S&P and the Dow this morning. It's done that, and now we're kind of gently pulling back. Once again, I think there'll be a kind of a doji close, maybe a down uh, day tomorrow. We'll see the QQQ, which is the NDX 100, is also only up 15 cents at 176.36. It's under the 14-period moving averages. The other two were over the daily 14-period moving averages. IWM has been very weak. It's down 1.1%, down $1.68, dollar sixty-eight, Now, gold has held very nicely. In leg C, probably making a peak C today. 13.46 was the high yesterday. 13.42 is the high today. And at the same time, you've got the dollar pulling back. The dollar at this particular moment is, let me just get you the right number, the dollar is down 46 pips at uh, 96.88. And uh, it's going to test that trend line support, which is really important, at about 96.76. It closes underneath that. Then 96.44 is the 200 period moving average, which will probably go to. That weekly chart still suggests that there'll be some weakness in the dollar, some strength in the um, gold shorter term. Uh, and TLT is very important right now. TLT's holding is up $1.19 at 131.38. I'll talk a lot more about it when we have the show coming up in a few minutes' time, my Tiger Technicians Hour. As it stands right now, what we've got is a kind of a mixed market, and there's been a spectacular rally off the low. It's just time for a bit of a digestive phase in the next day or two. And then we'll see what happens early next week. Monday and Tuesday is going to be really important because that's where we'll see if the if bonds hold well right now. That's saying that money is still not coming out of, uh, uh, it's still coming out of stocks and going into bonds. We'll talk about that a little more when we have it. Don't forget my um, webinar coming up Wednesday, this coming Wednesday the 12th for my subscribers. I'll be right back straight after these uh, messages.